Hi, my name is Mark Szaplewski, Cedarburg High School math teacher. Thanks for coming. If I have one of your um, students this year, they'll be either in my trigonometry class or my calculus class. So for my trigonometry class, give you a couple little details here. Um, those are the two classes I teach this year. Um, I am in one of the new rooms in the building. So it's an excellent, beautiful room here. As you see behind me there, even have some windows, which is a far different um, experience from what I had last year. Um, so my job and my mission this year is to teach your son or daughter um, as much as I can about trigonometry. Besides the trigonometry knowledge that I intend to embark on them, um, I'm also going to be trying to do my best to also teach them problem solving and learning skills that are very important to them. Um, I've been teaching for 28 years. This is my 28th year of teaching. And this is an experience like no other that we're experiencing this year and with the combination of last year with the pandemic and having to do things differently. So it is my real ultimate mission this year is to teach your son and daughter just how to learn on their own. I want to give them some strategies. I want to give them some ideas that they can take with them as they move to college and especially if they have an online learning experience. So we kind of were forced into pretty much virtually online last spring, and I'm gonna do my best to enhance their abilities to understand how to learn on their own and figure things out. So that's my plan. Um, I'm gonna be using technology pretty prevalent. I've kind of redid a lot of my class this year so that we don't have a textbook, and I try to clean things and keep things as orderly as possible to keep your son or daughter safe. Um, I will be holding, I have some virtual students and in-class students. So I'll have anywhere from two to eight virtual learners every hour. And I have in my classroom anywhere from, I think 15 is my smallest. And then the largest is like 24 students in my classroom in addition to my online virtual learners. So I'm gonna do my best to try to teach um, mostly like it's almost virtual to give them a lot of strategies because uh, there's a lot of times where your son and daughter may get sick, may be quarantined, and they might have to join us from a Google Meet or a virtual experience. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of things initially right off the bat to kind of show them how to be successful in that type of environment. Um, so it is expected that if they're healthy and they're feeling okay, that they kind of join me via Google Meet if they're um, at home. And then if they're in classroom, then obviously they'll be joining me from the classroom. I involve my online at home learners by asking them questions periodically throughout the hour, just like you would be in the classroom. Um, with the whole construction that Cedarburg High School has went through, there has been some bumps and bruises here along the way initially in terms of um, some of the technology not working so well. I would say generally it's very positive but there are some outages sometimes and some connectivity issues, whether it's um, the learners at home and their Wi-Fi or whether it's in the building here. So I would say in general, so far, as we completed our first two and a half weeks here, it's been working pretty well, um, but every now and then, every day, all of a sudden there is some glitches. So we're taking that as, as we go. I have been recording all of these. Um, sessions and if it does a little jumpy they can go back and rewatch the lesson or the parts of the lesson that they miss if they get disconnected etc. Um, by all means if you have any questions email me I can certainly help you and um, guide your son or daughter into being successful. Um, there is a lot of technology that I'm using this year. Um, I'm very comfortable with technology. I can usually problem solve and figure things out. So if they do have any questions, I encourage you to ask. Or certainly they can ask too. I really encourage you, especially uh, the vast majority of my students are uh, juniors and seniors. So by at this moment in time, they need to be proactive and asking questions and being as involved as possible. So if you have a learner at home for a short period of time or an extended period of time, um, if they do have any questions, they need to ask me as much as possible. And then in the classroom also, they can visit me and ask me whenever they do have questions. So my email is available. Um, go on the Canvas or the district website and certainly ask if you need anything. 
Um, it's going to be a great year this year. I actually am very excited about trying to teach in this new little different um, virtual and in-person world. Um, so far, I've done a pretty good job balancing it, but it is definitely challenging, especially with some of the new technologies we're trying to implement. So contact me if you have any questions. I look forward to an awesome year. I think it's going to be fabulous. Thank you.